What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah. It's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. the remote to my dad's TV. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? 
It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I... Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hey, Carly. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. 
You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind.
should hold on to that. It could come in handy. Let me see the spark plug. Force inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scrambled rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Pick is the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. 
Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. 